Hello, Dark Cat here. Why have you not made a single video in three months? Well, I've been depressed. I think to myself, why am I even alive? Why am I doing this? Is anything I ever do worth anything? I don't know, but I hate this miserable feeling. So I want to do something that I enjoy. So today, I want to make a video doing a character analysis and explaining why Momo is the ideal waifu in Honeypot. But before I begin, I want to discuss the issue of Momo's age and cat-like interactions. It's listed in-game that Momo is 18. This means Ryan Coons, the creator, intended Momo to be 18 years old and is able to consent to having sex with you. It's debatable what that translates to in cat years, but that's that. Even so, Momo has the mental age of a child. Now, I see where you're coming from, but I think that she's just airheaded, playing into the, that idea of being innocent and sweet. Why is that? Because it makes her feel like someone you can take care of and share something special with. But the game even says Momo has a naive, childlike mentality. Yes, I concede that much, but I think that means she hasn't experienced human society because she's been a stray kitten before she met you. Not that she doesn't understand basic concepts like what sex is. Stealing from a post on Reddit, innocence also seems to mean optimism and boundless energy, which I think equally applies to Momo, who is bubbly and uplifting with a fantastic voice acting by Arden Jones. By the way, I am head over heels for the voice of Momo. Her voice is so lovely that it makes me want to just give her a hug. I mean, take a listen to her rendition of Death Heated. She somehow makes it sound cute, sexy, and endearing all at once. Also probably because she turns a song about drugs into an innuendo about a cat killing a team. <clears throat> I want it, I need it, need it to make me feel hated, shake it, can't take it, must break it, break it off, yeah, what I say, bitch? Did I mention that Momo is a cat girl? She's a cat girl, which is an automatic, adorable, cute, oh god, I love her, already. But why? Because imitating a girl, a cat, means that she inherits many of a cat's characteristics, such as being cute, fluffy, paddable, playful, and perfect to snuggle with. Also, cat ears are super cute. They just make me want to cuddle her. And that boner tail, ah, I love it. Also, being a cat girl is kind of an excuse to have sex with a cat girl because like their cat counterparts, they also go into heat and you have to <coughs> help them out. Furthermore, she's a cat girl, not an animal, so it isn't bestiality. Okay, now that we have sorted that out, let me get to my explanation of why I think Momo is the best waifu of all the girls in Honeypop. And it comes down to two aspects that I want to talk about. She's cute and she's caring. So first up, let me cover how Momo is cute. Well, as I mentioned earlier, Momo is a cat girl, which means I already love her to bits. However, having a look at her costumes, I just love all of them. I mean, look at her in her kimono outfit and her loyal servant outfit. She even has a cute little blue ribbon to match. Momo looks beautiful in all of her outfits. From an aesthetic set standpoint, I love the colours of her outfits. For example, take a look at her Super Sailor outfit. I really love the blue gradient of the Super Sailor outfit and the lining of her skirt. And although I normally fall in love with long hair, for some reason I don't mind Momo's short hair whatsoever. And all of her hair her hairstyles are really pleasing and beautiful. As for her posh kitty outfit, I love the frills of her dress and the cat shaped stockings and the fur lining and all these details come together to make her look so adorable. And by the way, have I mentioned her pose? Because 
I don't know, but the way she poses like a cat with her paws is so cute. It makes her look vulnerable, again playing into that idea of innocence. But also, I'm not even sure what about that pose is so adorable. And it just might be me watching too much anime and seeing too many cute anime cat girls. However, the thing that really makes Momo unbearably lo lovable to me is that she treasures you. But can you substantiate that? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, Momo's favorite token is romance, which is something that she shares with Lola. And I think it's adorable because she genuinely likes you. I've never really felt cared about in my life, which is why the thought of somebody caring about me is so precious. Momo is kind of a wish fulfillment for someone who just wants a hug and to feel warm inside. It's sad to think that Momo is lo so loved because to a lot of people, no one in real life can give them that feeling of being loved. I guess to me, her favorite token being romance means that she loves the part of dating which is loving and caring for someone else. And I sympathize with that feeling. But didn't you say that about Tiffany as well? And yes, I did. And it's part of the reason why I like Tiffany as well. However, with Momo, it's that feeling of being able to protect and adore her and to be loved at the same time. Furthermore, Momo is very affectionate. As the game description says, I quote, Momo is very attached to you, which is shown by one of her quotes. Master, I'm so happy that you spend time with me. And so cute yet sad when you give her gifts and she says, you got this for me? And Master, you spoil me too much. Which makes me think of what she must have been through to treasure a small gift to that extent, believing, disbelieving that someone would care for her and pay attention to her. Also, it makes you want to hug Momo and spoil her as much as possible so that she'll never feel sad again. I think one of my favorite lines is, Aw, did you come to see me? Mm -hmm. Which I really like because it implies that the protagonist is shy and afraid to let Momo know his true feelings, which I think is really romantic. And I think the line that conquered my heart is this. Mm, I'm so happy to be here with you, master. Why is that? Because it's the fantasy that she's happy with being with you. I struggle putting this into words, but someone being happy, being with me, I'm worthless, I'm an idiot, but she cares about me? It's a girl confessing she loves you, which might seem really stupid, but it's why I fell in love with her. Also, she asks you questions about cats because she herself is part partially a kitten and she wants you to know about her, which shows the importance she places on romance. She wants you to know about herself and in turn, she wants to know about you. Now, I think the final thing I want to cover is this picture of Momo as a maidservant and how she refers to you as master. To me, this suggests that she's a submissive BDSM wise, which in the end kind of boils down to romance again, because she wants to, a master to take care of her. And I understand that feeling because I'm a submissive myself, and although I'm not normally attracted to, I'm normally attracted to waifus who, who could take the burden off of me because I never feel like I'm doing anything right. I love Momo all the same. Okay, and that's it. That's pretty much why I love Momo as a character. Now the whole point of this video series, analyzing honey, honey pop characters, is to show that these waifus aren't just waifus because of their appearance, although that is a part of it. They're sexually attractive because of this combination of attributes that forms the characters. Also, I say analyzing, but the characters are just ideas, and it's the interpretations that make them truly unique and memorable. 
One last thing, I know that I probably sound sexist with all my videos on waifus, that, and that most of my audience is probably male. I know that it's a joke that men can't ever understand women, but we have so much more in common than we do that is different. We share the same experiences, thoughts, and ideas. And I make these videos on waifus because I truly love them from the bottom of my heart. Also, if you ever feel like you need someone to listen to you, please feel free to talk to me on YouTube or Discord. I've always seen myself as worthless, and I don't want anyone else feeling that way. That's why I feel obligated to listen to people, and it's why I feel at least obligated to consider and respond to every comment I ever get, because I know how it feels to be ignored, because you're not good enough, or you're not somewhere. Anyway, thank you for being here. You are my lifeblood. Dark Cat out.